Here's an interesting question. So why is there this difference in renin in primary hyperaldosteronism versus secondary hyperaldosteronism? Well, to understand this, first we have to understand what the difference is between primary and secondary hyperaldosteronism and what the effect of aldosterone is on renin. So in primary hyperaldosteronism, what's happening is your adrenal glands are secreting a lot of aldosterone. So this is just independent of anything else. There's some problem with the adrenal glands. Maybe it's a tumor or something like that. And it's causing your adrenal glands to secrete a ton of aldosterone. Now you might remember that aldosterone as part of a negative feedback mechanism will inhibit renin or the production or secretion of renin. So if you have a lot of aldosterone, you're gonna have decreased renin. So this makes sense. So why is renin increased then in secondary hyperaldosteronism? Well, the reason for this is because secondary hyperaldosteronism means that there's some secondary cause for the increase in aldosterone. So it's not something with the adrenal glands that's wrong. There is something wrong somewhere upstream of the adrenal glands that's making a lot of aldosterone. So what that means is that there is some consequence, some negative consequence involved with the RAS system, the renin angiotensin aldosterone system, that's causing a whole bunch of renin. And a part of that system um, means that when you have an increase in renin, you're also going to lead to an increase in the production of aldosterone. So there's nothing wrong with your adrenal glands or your aldosterone production. There's something wrong with the RAS system here and there's something wrong, there's way too much renin that's being secreted, and the consequence of that is that you have hyperaldosteronism. So this is why, even though you're gonna have a lot of aldosterone, this will try to go back and inhibit the renin. The problem is there's some, um, there's some issue with the renin secretion that even if you keep inhibiting it, there's gonna be a whole bunch of renin production. So it doesn't really matter what the aldosterone does because there's some issue in the renin production where it's just being overproduced. So in secondary hyperaldosteronism, you're gonna have a lot of aldosterone produced, but that's because you have a lot of renin produced for some reason, because there's something wrong with your renin angiotensin aldosterone system. So hopefully this makes sense explaining the difference between primary and secondary hyperaldosteronism, and hopefully it makes sense that when you see that, you can understand why renin might be decreased in primary and why it might be increased in secondary.